everybody. Dr. Eric Herman, guru, chiropractor. Peace and love. Happy holidays to everybody out there. Back again for another video. This is my newest patient, Hip. How you doing, sir? Good. And it's short for something, but we're not gonna we're not gonna say. We're gonna leave it a secret. Uh, maybe you want to guess what it's short for in the comments. How about that? We'll play a little game. I can anyway. get ugly. Yeah, right. Be nice. <laughs> don't be don't be nasty on the comments. But anyway, um, Hip came in. Found me on the internet, right? I did. And um, he's he's he already was uh, interested in the ring dinger, right? You've been you were watching Dr. Johnson's videos. Absolutely. What'd you say for like two years? About two years, just in a, you know, in and out. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you saw me when I went down there, and he put it on his channel. Or did you see it on my channel? No, I saw it on his channel. his channel that I was there, and then that I was from Jersey. And when you said you were from Edison, I'm like, I got to see that guy. Yeah, and you're Kendall Park, which is what? Like it's it's like twenty minutes. Twenty now. minutes up the road, right? Yep. Up the highway. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So pretty close. Lately, current, you know, a lot of people are driving two, three, four hours to come see me. And then once in a while, I get a local. Get a local he's, a, he's a homeboy. <laughs> so we're going to do good for this guy today. Anyway, not a lot. I wouldn't rate you severe, but you definitely got some stuff going on. You got a lot of stiffness in your neck. Uh, you lost some range of mobility. There's compression in there. You used to have a pinch nerve, right? Back in the day, and another chiropractor helped you out and fix that. Yep. Middle back is tight. Lower back is tight, right? Yeah. Not a lot of pain, though. No. no? Discomfort, more discomfort than, yeah. than sharp. And pain. stiffness, right? And, stiffness. and it gets worse when you play golf. Okay. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to roll in. We're going to do a good full body adjustment and ring dinger today, and then we're going to see how this guy does. You ready to rock? Let's go for it. Cool. Face down like you were before. Relax your body. Put your hands up front so I don't step on your fingers. And let's do this. So before, when we did the exam, he has a, a, a full body torque to the uh, right. Um, and we talked about he's a side sleeper, so that's probably why that is. Hips are twisted a little bit to the right. Shoulders are twisted a little bit to the right. I'm not sure if the camera could pick it up. And he's got a lot of tension built up here in his lower back and pelvis on towards the right. Middle back between the shoulder blades, neck and lower neck really. Upper neck's not that bad. And he's got a little bit of a bump here. They call it a downwinger hump because his head is popped forward by about two inches. So we're gonna check that afterwards. And I made a promise to him that it's gonna, it's gonna be better. Not perfect, but better after the pull. So I hope I can fulfill on that promise. So we're going to roll right into a, um, actually, I'm going to stretch you out a little bit first. I'm going to use the, the uh, famous thumper massager. We're just going to do a little warm up, a little softening of the muscles, get a little blood flowing better. For the, yeah, I know, for the thumper. I definitely recommend it. I love it. I don't, I don't bullshit. If I don't like it, I'm not going to probably talk about it at all, but. If I endorse it, I love it, and I use it. Just a little bit of a... <laughs> Getting close to Christmas, it's coming fast. Border. Hope everybody's ready to go for the holidays. It, I, my, I don't even have any extra time off this year because it, it, Christmas Day and New Year's Day fall on Mondays. And that's my normal day off anyway. So, and then Christmas Eve, I usually take off half day. And New Year's Eve day, I take off half day. But they're on Sundays. I'm, I'm, I'm off anyway. So it's one of those years where I don't get an extra break. Because my boss is an a-hole. He won't let me take off. Yeah. Good. Good. Perfect. Good. All right, got a little softer already just from the massage. You ain't seen nothing yet, though. All right, you ready? Come on up. Take your time. Don't rush. And we're going in the back room where the ring dinger table is. We're going to get you set up for your first ring dinger. Lay down. Head here, face up. Go ahead and lay down. Head here, face up. 
Yeah. Hands up top. Now I have to feel the top of your hips to line you up properly. You're high about from you're about two inches high. So slide down about yeah, right there, perfect. Okay. Who went to Rutgers? I did. Nice. I did. My sisters did. Oh, you got everybody. We're all local yokels. Nice. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now the legs are coming up. Boop, boop, boo. Good. Notice how that flattened out your lower back? That's what it's supposed to do. And it, re and it releases the tension. It makes it looser so it's easier to release. Now we're going to put the pins in. They got to be super tight. Yep. So expect snugness. Ba, ba, ba. You nervous? No, no. Good, good man. Some people get nervous. Good? Yep, I'm fine. Give me your hands back to me. I just want to cinch up your hips to the pins. Make sure they're good. Yeah, you're good. All right, relax. The towel goes around your neck, but really it's grabbing the back of your skull and your jaw like this. Way too small, so the towel gives me better grip. Doo -doo. Sorry, I got to re-roll. Okay. Lift up your neck. And good. Come on down. Relax. Good. Very good. Your job, keep your teeth together, but don't bite hard. Just keep them touching mm -hmm. so that when I pull, you don't bang a tooth or, God forbid, get your tongue stuck in between the teeth. Other than that, stay relaxed all the way down, and I'll do the rest. You ready to rock? Do it. Okay. Let me get a good grip. Just stay relaxed. Wiggle your left toe. And boom. Wow. Ha! Ah. Wow, well, was a good... Response. Describe what you felt. Relief. Good. Did you feel like a pop, 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 pop all the way yeah. down? Did it go all the way down to the lower? Not so much. It was. I, I guess it was because of my neck. It's so close to my ear. I heard like the cracking there. But yeah. Wow. Yes, sir. And most of the time, if you don't really feel it down there, it probably still released because it happens a lot. Yeah. And when I go back there to recheck down there, it is, it, it, it's showing signs of being released. I think what happens is, it happens so fast, your brain fixates on this part. I think that's exactly what happened. And gets all excited about it, and then it misses that but one. But I feel like, I don't feel soreness, I feel loose right now, so. Good. I definitely release something. I just. Good. Overly focused on the. Uh, yeah, I, I, bet, I mean, listen, if we go there and check and it's still not released, we, you, we could come back here and do a second one. Oh, yeah, let's. <laughs> <laughs> they call it a double dinger. We could do it. I do them. I'm not even kidding. But let, let me, I want to check the neck and do a little more release here. And then we'll get you up and see how you do. Stay relaxed. Drop it. Let it Good. Nothing really there. Drop it. There it goes. Little baby one. Good. All right. Come on up when you're ready. Take your time. When you get up on your feet, stop for a second. Kind of check out, evaluate how you feel, and let the camera know. Let us know. Let me know. If you feel anything improved. Yeah, definitely the mid-back section. Yeah. Feels much better. I still hear the crackling on my neck. Yeah. Like Sometimes that. that's not going to go all the yeah. way away, especially with one visit. Yeah, it it so might reduce the amount that you hear it. It's or definitely much looser. You get more range. More Good. Range. That's what we're looking for. All right, cool. Come on over. We're going back on that table. Okay. And we're going to recheck a few things, and we're going to do more on this table. Go face down now, belly down. Do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do. So first thing, I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but the whole torque is gone. That whole right torque is gonzo. It's neutral here and neutral here. So that's good. That tells me for sure it pulled out a lot of that abnormal tension. Now, remember when I bent it up the first time you said it was pulling here? Yep. Let's do it again. Tell me if it feels the same or better. Not necessarily looking for perfect, but improved. There's no pain at all, no discomfort. 
So it went from something to gone all the way? Much flexible. Yeah. Woo! You're in the upper echelon yeah. of VIP patients because most people, it goes from something to reduced on the first visit, right? Occasionally, it goes from something to nothing. So you got some good results there. This part flattened out and also here. But we're, and we're going to even do more. We're going to do more for that area. I'm just doing a, like a midpoint check on how you're doing. All right, now we're going to do a drop technique through here and through this, the pelvis. So I'm dropping down the middle part of the belly part of the table to give me some more room. This thing pops up, and when I push down on you, it goes ba-boom, okay? Loose as goose is your job. Good. Good. Nice. Remember when you lifted this leg, it, it got caught up a little bit? Yeah. So I'm gonna do a little extra on this, on this side, on your right sacroiliac joint. One more, and now we're going right up the middle of the lumbar spine. Good. Good. Let it go. Good. All right. Bend again, just making sure. How about now? Same or better? Same. Amen, which was perfect to begin with. Yep. Well, not to begin with, but after you got off the ring there. Let's see about this sacroiliac. Do both sides. So start here, lift as high as you can. Good, and down. That's still good? Yeah. Do this side. Okay. What do you feel compared to before? Got more range. Yeah. We didn't film the first time you did it, so they didn't they can't see on the camera how it kind of stopped short. Yeah. But let I'm telling you guys, it went up almost twice as high. So that tells me a lot more mobility, which means a lot looser and a lot better lined up, le less compression all through here. So your lower back is doing fabulous. Now we're gonna work on this do a little bit more. So the belly comes up. Good, slide down a couple inches. Okay, stay loose. Now we're gonna do boom, boom, boom. Good. If it's too rough, let me know. Good. Right there, this helps. This one move here helps bring your head back over your shoulders. So that's why we do it a couple times. Good. Nice. Now we're gonna do the neck itself push down, but a lot more gentle here than here. Slide down about another inch. Good. Relax. Good. Can't wait to get my new table after the holidays. Boom. Good. Good. All right. Roll over on your back. Please. Nice, slide down like two inches towards your feet. A little more. Right there, perfect. Good, let me extend the legs. Now we're gonna do it front of the shoulders, collarbones, and rib cage. So bring your arms out like Jesus on the crucifix. Amen. Amen. I had a couple Christian people get mad at me for saying that. <laughs> Don't say that. What do you mean? That's the best way to describe it. Good. Back in the middle. Gentle on the ribs. But all this helps with your middle back because it all is connected via the ribs. Got it. Good. Hands back up this way. Now this one will help your upper, upper neck get decompressed from your skull. So it's a little bit of a weird one. If you watch him, you see him do this pull. Right. So I'm gonna just cock this back up. Stay relaxed. Good. It doesn't look like much, but how's it feel? Feel like it's gapping a little bit in the, in the head? That one I did. Yeah, that one I did a little more. Three for good luck. Relaxed. Good. All right, 
slide up a little bit. I want to give myself a little more room here. Good. Now we're going to do a little tug at the knee. Should release the knee and the hip, maybe even the ankle. Stay loose and floppy. Drop it in my hands. Let it go. Relax it. Woo, big one. Slide back up. Did you feel that in the knee? Oh, I think yeah, the knee that. went. Got back too. Good. Pop goes the weasel. Good. Now we're going to tug at the ankle because you said you sprain your ankles a lot, right? Yeah. Back in the day. Good. Now we're going to tug at the knee. Droppy, droppy. Let it go. Loose. Boom. And bring it up. See, what happens too is gives you a little whiplash. Yeah. Which brings you back for a follow-up next time. Oh, Just joking it. around. <laughs> See, there's a plan for everything. Job security. Yeah, baby. <laughs> they call that. <laughs> job security. Drop it. Good. good yes, sir. Okay. All the big stuff is done. When you're ready, sit up. Face that way. You need help? No? Yep, Swing good. around. Good. Awesome. Make sure your hair looks good for the yeah. camera. So just a quick feel. It's a lot looser here around the, the lower cervicals. Let's see. Does that feel looser turning? Yeah. They don't, we didn't film the first time when, before, when we first examined, but yeah. it definitely is looser. It's yeah. not perfect. Okay, just, uh, just yeah. Good. Smoother? Yeah. Good. Ah, right, perfect. Now the forward head, let's see. Okay, remember I wasn't even touching the ear before. Yeah. So I'm estimating it came back about a half inch to a three quarters of an inch. It's pretty significant for yeah. one visit. Good. Now we're going to finish off. We're going to adjust the ball and socket in the shoulder, the elbow joints, the wrist, the fingers, and we'll be done for today. Start on the left. Bring it up like a this. Coming around for the hug. Relax. Good. Give me this side. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rotate it a little bit. Good. Relax, bring this out this way. Good. Coming around for the elbow. Sometimes drop it. Good, a little pop there, but who cares? As long as it feels better and works better. I don't care about the pops. Pull. Good. But people out there yeah, like good. the pops. <laughs> people out there like hearing the pops, drop it. They're all, they call them the crack addicts. Good. Pull. Bam. Okay. And done. What do you think? Well worth the trip. Good. Well I'm happy trip. that you're happy. Any questions? No, not at all. Okay. No. So think of this like a tune-up for your car. This is like a tune-up for your back and your body. Yep. So, um... How often do you need to tune up your car as long as you keep driving it? Once and you're done, or you got to do once, more once than once? Year, at least. Yeah, definitely ongoingly, yeah. as long as you keep driving the vehicle because you keep driving it, yep. stressing it out, and it goes back out. Same thing with your body. Now, I don't really give people a hardcore set schedule because I think the need for this fluctuates in our life based on what's going on in our life. Stress levels go up, go down. When they're up, you need more, probably more visits. When they're down, you might not need as many. So when you feel you need more, we'll, we'll keep it as an as needed. If I'm your guy and you like this, when you feel like you need another one, come back then. Fair enough. All right. I appreciate you coming through. <laughs> Thank you, you did great. Let's say goodbye to the audience out there. This is the Guru Chiropractor. First, I want to say I love and appreciate everybody out there for being a fan. Peace and love and happy holidays and blessings to everybody for the holidays. Um, listen, I do this from my heart. It's not easy. It's not easy doing this technique. It's very hard, physically hard on the, on the chiropractor. Not every chiropractor would even want to do this. But for me, I like to do it because I feel like this is what God called me to do. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm good at it. I've always been good at it. I'm not good at many other things, but God blessed me to give, give me some talent for this. So I want to do the best that I possibly can. And I feel like this is the best. So I sacrifice my body a little bit. You know, it's a little rigorous on my body, but I'm willing to do it. The point is I'm willing to do that for people that need me. So if you feel like you need some of this, you're watching and you're in the tri-state area. My office is in um, Edison, New Jersey, central New Jersey. I'm the New Jersey ringdinger guy. Come on through. 
Best way to reach me is go to my website, um, retrochiropractic.com. There's a book now link there. Come in, put your info in, work out an appointment with him. Come on through if you need me. I'll do my very best to help you. Um, I got a YouTube channel, Guru Chiropractor. Like and subscribe and comment. I got a TikTok. Follow me there. I, uh, Guru Chiropractor. I got an Instagram, Guru Chiropractor. Follow me there. And I got a, a Facebook, Guru Chiropractor. Follow me there and do a lot of comments and likes. And that's going to help with the popularity of the channel. Yes, it's going to help me, but it's also helping getting the word out about good chiropractic to help a lot of people out there. So again, I love and appreciate you. I feel like I'm really wordy right now. God bless. Goodbye. Out.